Hi, welcome back once again. Good to have you back. Hope you've been following and enjoying these blog posts. Today I'm going to talk about a topic which is important for men. Um, it does carry over into females as a principle, however I'm specifically focusing on uh, men's issues. And this is uh, the one of self-examination. <clears throat> Everyone should uh, self-examine. They should keep an eye on their body and on any changes to the body, anything that progressively grows or becomes sore or inflamed and so on. So I'd like to specifically talk about uh, men checking their testicles and actually something I went through uh, recently myself which is if you find uh, a lump or a bump or, or something unusual <clears throat> what to expect when you go and see your doctor and when you go for instance for further tests and so on. Because for many men, it can actually be a reason why they don't follow up <coughs> on finding, um, should we say, new changes to their body. <clears throat> for myself, being more specific, I found a small soft lump on my epididymis, which is um, where we basically stored sperm. And when I found this lump, I assessed it over a week or so, and it wasn't going away. <clears throat> but I did do my own um, self-diagnosis um, based on the knowledge I have transluminated and I wasn't too worried I felt that it was probably something called a spermatocele however I didn't want to rest on my laurels and so on doing the self-examination I decided I wanted to go and see a GP <clears throat> now if you've never been to see a GP and uh, for guys and for women if they ha find issues themselves it can be quite um, should we say uncomfortable it could create some embarrassment which is wrong and shouldn't do and, uh, and this is why I'm doing this blog today um, GPs generally, and I would hope across the board, uh, train to be very professional. Um, if you're uncomfortable with the idea of seeing a GP of uh, the opposite sex, which for me wouldn't be of discomfort, it just so happened I saw a male GP, but I'd happily go and see a female GP. Um, they will be thoroughly professional, and should be, and uh, will try and make you feel very comfortable. So for myself, I went in, explained to the GP what I'd found, um, obviously my, my background as a medical professional and that I wasn't too concerned but that I wanted a second opinion and he, he said that was very wise um, all that basically happened was he told me to undo my trousers I took my trousers down not off so I just undid the fly um, moved my penis out of the way and then he would just do what was effectively a one one and a half minute examination of my testicles of my epididymis and so on it was very very professional didn't make me feel uncomfortable at all um, and there's no need to be scared. If you do find anything, don't feel embarrassed, don't feel like you should just wait and see whether it goes away. Um, he agreed, he was 99% uh, or as he put it, 99.9% .9 certain that it was a spermatocele. However, you can never be 100% with these things, so we discussed it and he did suggest going for an ultrasound, which I had also suggested myself, um, which I agreed and went for an ultrasound. And that was pretty much exactly the same scenario. Very professional, um, wasn't made to feel uncomfortable at all. Um, I was actually offered a, 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 if I wanted a chaperone whilst I had the ultrasound done, which I declined. I wasn't uh, um, bothered about needing a chaperone. Obviously, if you're a female and you have a male doing um, the scan, don't be afraid to say yes, you would like a chaperone. And likewise, if you're a male with a female doing the scan, you're w well within your rights to ask for a chaperone. Um, it won't be seen as being uh, difficult or anything like that. So if that makes you feel more comfortable, remember you are the client, you can ask for that and it will be acted on professionally, hopefully. So what I'm saying here is whatever you find, if you ever find anything, no matter how um, nervous you feel, people in the medical profession are professional in general um, and will be there hopefully for your benefit. So don't put things off. If you find something, go and get it checked. Go and get any issues removed because one of the main things it will do is decrease your stress levels because all that will happen is you'll continue worrying about it, whether it's something of uh, concern. Um, now with myself, it was diagnosed as spermatocele. Um, I know that there's nothing I need to do about it. Obviously, I'll monitor it myself anyway, but um, I urge you, if you ever find anything, go and get a professional opinion, go and get it checked. It will decrease your stress, which will give you a better well-being, a better um, uh, overall uh, standard of living. And obviously, if, let's hope that never happens, but if something is found that needs to be acted on, at least you're getting it treated and you're getting, hopefully, the appropriate action. So, guys, if you're out there, 
check yourself regularly. Ladies, check yourself regularly and make sure that you keep an eye on your body, what's going on with it. It will change over the months, years, and you need to be aware if anything changes just to go and get it checked. In a lot of cases, there's no issue, but you can never be certain unless you have those tests and make sure it's all clear. So look after yourselves, be well, and I hope that uh, this just lays your fears that you've got nothing to worry about and be embarrassed about if you ever need to go and get an intimate check with a doctor. Look after yourselves, take care, be primal.